Local cuisine has been passed down from generation to generation, utilizing local produce. There are so many hospitable dishes in Niigata. One typical dish absolutely necessary for Niigata's New Year is nope, a kind of stew. Every family cooks this dish using taros to make it thick. The broth is made with winter root vegetables, chicken and ginkgo nuts, and then seasoned with light soy sauce. The taste of this good old home cooking differs among regions and even households with recipes that have been handed down through generations. Fried soybean curd is called aburage in Niigata, and it is known nationwide for its good taste and generous size. Twenty or so shops have kept their own individual flavors of the old in Tochio City, a famous aburage producing district. About three times as big as an ordinary aburage, Tochio's aburage has a crispy crust and the inside is soft and fluffy. How sweet it becomes as you chew it! In fall, Fields in Niigata appear to be dyed in red and yellow. This is called kakinomoto, an edible chrysanthemum. Lightly boiled, these chrysanthemum petals are tasty as a vinegar dish, an indispensable accompaniment on a table in Niigata in fall. You will find the taste exceptional with its crispy and chewy textures and a slight bitter taste. Here comes Niigata's prominent specialty, sasa dango. Sasa dango is a vivid green soft rice cake made of Japanese mugwort, which holds sweet bean paste inside. The rice cake is then wrapped with bamboo grass leaves. These family-oriented mild tastes have been observed for generations and will surely satisfy your eyes and mouth.